Welcome back to my studio. Now I'm going to be painting that sweet little daisy. So I'm using mixtures. Uh, first I'll paint her body, which is all white. I'm using for the shadows, this is a mixture of my mud, plus a little ultramarine blue, plus just a tiny bit of the wall color to, to gray it down just a little bit. And you can't have light without dark. So you want, even on a white uh, animal or like horse, whatever, you still want the shadows to be fairly dark so that the whites look brighter. White animals is, is one of the hardest things I've learned to, I struggled with. I remember the first white horses that I painted were, <laughs> the shadows were almost as, light is the, the light part of the horse. But over time I've, I've learned that again you just can't have the light without the dark. So I, I block in all my shadows first then I'll come back and start doing the, the lighter areas. Now along this front leg I wanted to stay arm Jack always calls the cats, dogs, whatever. Their, their front legs were arms, the paws were hands. So that was just, if I call, if I call this his arm or hand, that's, you know where that's come from. Also want to do a little bit of a blue along this edge. Just that coolness helps round, makes his body go around, or her body go around and then distinguishes that from the background. Now this paw is going to be a little bit darker back here. I'll come back in and add the little creases where her claws come out. I just first get her blocked in and then I'll come back and add the details. Chest comes down. This is just, again, this is another mixture of my mud, plus just a darker shade. Actually, I need this to be darker back here, and that leg will be lighter. Take a little bit of brush. This is a little bit bigger brush. I'm not going to get that while I'm painting. It's just too interruptive to answer the phone answer emails and a lot of times those phone calls are somebody just trying to sell me something. So I just look if it's important they'll leave a message. If it's not they won't. You can just spend way too much time answering emails in the phone and it takes away from your your time at the easel. So that's just I've also saved my wall color, these rocks and so I can come back here and use them to, to shape her body. Daisy's such a perfect name for a little dog. I'm not using pure white for the lighter areas yet. This is a mixture. It has just a little bit of my mud plus a little bit of cadmium orange. It makes a warm white, but I don't want to, I, I saved my pure white for the highlights. Now I'm coming back in and like here the point of the, her shoulder where it comes down. The light hits right here. That's where I start putting my, my highlights of the pure white. And since I'm painting this over the darker white, it doesn't get entirely white. So I'll come back and really re-highlight those areas. She 
She gets a little light here on her haunches. But actually, no, because that she's back toward the wall there. She'll be in the shadow of the wall, so actually this won't be that light. Just realize that that wall is... The light's coming in the painting from the right. And as you can see, I talked about in my blog, the light comes in from the right, it comes across here. Your eye then catches the light on her, follows, follows up her body, her head turns and directs you then to the butterfly. So the stars of our show, the focal point, are Daisy and the butterfly. So I've designed it so that, positioned her body, so that she helps direct you then through her and to the butterfly. Now her front leg does catch the light. But the back of her body is, is in the in the shadow. I still need to do a lot of detail, but I'm just this is blocking in at this point. Bring some darkness in here. Back to her back leg. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please always feel free to ask questions. You can ask them in the comments section. I also have a blog where I show the entire step-by-step -step process of the painting. The link is in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my video. And again, even on my blog, you can ask questions. Just feel free. You can just make them in the comments section. Now here I'm putting in little toes on, his paw, on her paws. I've got a little bit more to do on this before I finish the body, but that just gives you an idea of how I block it in. So again, you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and when you're out and about today, just take a moment to stop and smell the roses. Appreciate this beautiful world that God has given us. Watch how the light just filters across the tops of flowers, or how the grass blows in the breeze. Just enjoy this beauty that we have. So you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.